Have you ever dreamed of sailing the Italian coast in a Mediterranean summertime? While we're having our new boat built, we wanted to share with you some of our television shows about voyages we've made, since there might be destinations that you'd be interested in. This was our last sail on board the boat we built ourselves 18 years earlier. Thank you to Pantaneous Yacht Insurance, who have insured Distant Shores since 1996, and for their support bringing you these Distant Shores classic videos. Well, we got a little bit of wind, finally. We got about eight or so knots of wind, which means we might make four or five knots, and that's going to be enough to just have a nice drift along this afternoon. So, let's stop the engine and do some sailing. This is our final voyage aboard Two Step. The boat Paul and I built as a wedding present to each other over 20 years ago, so we're savoring every moment sailing her. Excellent! We have enough wind and a nice bit of current pushing behind us. So this means we'll get in um, just before dark. And I really don't like entering harbors in the dark. Um, so this is nice and perfect. We can just relax and enjoy a gorgeous sail. The Terranian, it's been like this for about a week and a half now. We've hardly seen any wind at all. Uh, makes it a nice place to go lie on the beach or Motorboating around, we've seen lots of motorboaters, but us sailors are going to be sailing slow and relaxed. The voyage down the Italian coast to Tropea is a full day sail, and the further south we get, the more ship traffic we begin to see. One of the features on our chart plotter is a target alarm which we can set to a specific distance to warn us of approaching ships. We always keep a constant watch, but this is a nice added safety feature. Just coming up on Tropea, they have the best pizzerias here, and we're going to learn all about how to make them. There's a nice new marina here. We're going to go bow to the quay and have a nice few days. Since Paleolithic times, there has been human settlement on this rocky promontory where the town of Tropea stands 70 meters above the sea. Tropea is renowned for its white sand beaches, conveniently close to town. The only thing is, it's a big hike to the top to get to the upper town. Oh well, after being on the boat, it's a good way to get back your land legs. When we finally get to the top, we're delighted to discover that the old town has retained its charm despite being a popular beachside destination. We appreciate why it's renowned when we see the view from the top. The color of the water is such a clear tropical blue you'd think you were in the Caribbean rather than the southwest coast of Italy. We're visiting Tropea in June, a pleasant and quiet time of year, but if you're scheduling your visit in July or August, it's important to book in advance. We decide that shopping in town can wait until later. Now's the time of day to enjoy the beach. Evening brings thoughts of relaxed dining, so rather than cooking on board, Francesca from the marina takes us to Il Normano restaurant for a lesson on pizza making. Authentic Italian pizza has a thin, flat bread crust and is quickly cooked in a domed, wood-burning oven to achieve a high temperature. There are 350 degrees, degrees. Yes, Celsius. Non-electric. No electric oven? Uh, yes. Uh, now it's ready. Two is good. Now, if you want to try... I've always wanted to learn how to make pizza like a real Italian pizza chef. So I'm going to finally get a lesson today. Oh, my goodness. 
So he's spinning it while he's doing it. I'll try this one. My pizza is getting a little bit rectangular here. Okay, now. Uh oh, <laughs> I need to practice this. So it just, it's in the wrist action. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> and stick to the ceiling, okay? Can I patch it? Can I patch it up here? Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, people in the restaurant are going to be eating this one. This is for me. Okay, try it again. And spin. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> again. Whoa. <laughs> Not um, well, there's a few little holes, and obviously, there's a technique to this, so I have a little practicing to do. but. Hey, it's fun. <laughs> There's not a lot of sauce. Prima volta che mangio una pizza da una canadese. Pizza Canadian. <laughs> but my lesson isn't over. Okay, the moment of truth here. Keep quickly. Danger. Ah, okay. There are still more techniques to be learned. It's really hot. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. It really does make a difference to the flavor having the wood oven. There's just that nice woody flavor. The difference between cooking something in the oven and cooking it on the barbecue. As I said, pizza making is a serious ah, art and my ah, instructor is strict. Near the fire. Per you weren't watching. And I wasn't paying attention. It was really fast, so you have to watch. Forni elettrici non bisogna girare. Forni elettrici. Colore. I'm watching for it to turn the exact golden color. Oh gosh, after all this, I hope I don't drop it on the floor. The thing I love about pizza in Italy is that the ingredients are just so pure. So you really taste the fresh tomato. There's not a lot of sauce, there's not a lot of herbs. It's very simple but beautiful cheese, nice ham and artichokes. And the bread doesn't take over the whole pizza. So it's just fabulous. It's a very affordable meal, and in a setting like this, how can you beat it? Thanks, Francesca. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Most Italians eat late in the summertime to avoid the heat, and since Il Normano specializes in numerous regional dishes, by dark the restaurant is buzzing with customers. The restaurant is named after the old Norman Cathedral across the street, located at the top of one of the five staircases leading up to the old town, which comes alive at night as people come out to enjoy the cool of the evening, explore the shops, and meet up with friends at one of the many trattorias. These are casual family-run restaurants, of which Tropea has more per square meter than any other town in Calabria. From Tropea, we leave the Italian mainland and set our bows towards Sicily. It's a day sail from Tropea, passing through the narrow strait of Messina, en route to arrive in Sicily at Teormina. From there, we'll sail to the main port of Catania to meet Two Steps new owners and do a handover sail with them down the coast, before returning to there and Two Steps, new home in Malta. We spend one night anchored off the picturesque town of Teormina, but with the construction and regular trains running by here, it can get a bit noisy. We up anchor to sail to Catania to meet Tony and Susan, two steps new owners, and I notice Cheryl has been pretty quiet this morning. You must be off the bottom. 
Are you happy about selling the boat? <laughs> okay, I'm getting weepy. It's a big decision to sell Two Step. Paul and I built her as a wedding present to each other. And over the last 20 years, we've had so much fun with her and seen so many things. But we're really looking forward to the new boat. Yes, we are. <laughs> it's gonna be great. We'll see all new things and be able to sail in different ways. We feel great about the new owners. We know that they'll love her and take care of her. But it's time for a change. We've outgrown her. We're looking for a new way of sailing. She's a little bit too deep for a lot of the places we like to sail up canals and creeks and rivers. So we're going to have all brand new adventures and we hope that you'll join us aboard the new boat, our new Southerly 42, as we sail her to the Caribbean next year. Well, there's not very much wind today. In fact, there's no wind at all, and it is a hot day. So I think we're gonna take a chance and go for a swim. So get the ladder out. Swimming in the deep water can be a little bit intimidating, but as long as there's someone on board to keep a watch and you feel safe, don't get too far away. And it is nice to stop and see what's under the water too. Deliberately did not check how cold the water is here with the depth gauge, which can tell you that. Okay, it's not totally summer just yet. Well, it's middle of June, but I guess offshore here and with the currents, okay, it's cold. Don't be a wimp, be a Canadian, get in the water. It's beautiful, come on in, it's fabulous. Uh, I better get my bathing suit. Oh, it's so calm, eh? Mount Etna is one of the most active volcanoes in the world and is in an almost constant state of eruption. It is the largest active volcano in Europe, currently standing more than 3,300 meters, or nearly 11,000 feet high. Although it can occasionally be very destructive, it is not generally regarded as being particularly dangerous, and thousands of people live in the surrounding area. The fertile volcanic soils support extensive agriculture, with vineyards and orchards spread across the lower slopes of the mountain. For almost two days as we sail south, its smoking peak dominates the horizon. I couldn't resist tidying up the boat since we're giving her over to her new owner. We want her to look perfect. So I'm just tidying up the water line. Oh, she looks wonderful. Oh, today was a great day. A very nice sail, very light winds, but Tony just loves the boat. He loves sailing it, and that makes me feel better because I'm happy to see someone else washing the boat, but I guess it's catching me a little bit more that we built this boat all those years ago and have sailed her all these years, and now she's going to be owned by somebody else, but it looks like he's going to love her. Season two. Like we did. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's nice. Oh, it's yeah, been a great the, day sailing. Though. Yes, it has. It's been a great day sailing, and... And they it's obviously fun love the boat. Them take so much pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. This was a great way to finish 18 years and 68,000 miles of sailing on the boat we built ourselves. Now that we're having another boat built, we're again looking forward to visiting more distant shores. Thanks again to Pantaneous Yacht Insurance, who have insured distant shores since 1996, and for their support bringing you these distant shores classic videos. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments if you've been dreaming of a Mediterranean cruise. And don't forget to subscribe for upcoming videos.